So, my opinions is like an asshole. And I am one. I'm an asshole, dude. So, I got a lot of opinions, dude. Check this shit out. So, Russell Brand is going through some shit. And I already kind of fucking figured, dude. I'm surprised it took this long. You want to know why? Because this is this is not just America. This is human nature. When you... um. Really evil, spiteful people, they get, they feel good about themselves by seeing other people fail and get torn down. Because it's like, oh, okay, at least that's not me. You know what I mean? I've seen it happen. I have these people in my own family. They fucking suck. You get away from them and they still find a way to fucking find you and pull you back in. And it's like, ah, I can't do nothing to fucking leave. And you're always fucking with my dick, dude. Get off me. But, um, so I knew that some shit was about to go down because Russell Brand is too much of a contrarian. I know you guys don't like when I do this. I know you. I know you don't like when I do this. But Alhamdulillah, all praises be to one in God. Man, eat your fucking children. <laughs> but um, so if you're like a con, so pa contrariar, you não vou mais a favela. If you're a contrarian, dude, that's what you're gonna have to. Any type of any. Any type of a rebel is going to get fucked with. Like, that's just what you're asking for. It's sort of like um, somebody that waves... <laughs> There's a scene where Mr. Bean, if he's in the, um, he's in like a, a convertible and he's driving around <laughs> flipping people off like this. <laughs> that's what I feel like. I feel like people like Russell Brand and myself, we just fucking drive around and go like... <laughs> with our middle fingers waving in the air because it's like dude what the fuck is the other option is just to sit here and just take it i'm not going to just sit here and just take shit and russell brand says net from the beginning was like hey here's who i am here's all my words so i don't give a fuck like you know i could turn it into a joke nothing you guys are going to say about me is going to hurt me because nobody's more critical of themselves than me you know i'm i'm more critical of me than anybody that i've ever met because I lay my head down at night on the pillow and I close my eyes and then I have to go through just what decisions did I make today and you know, where were they the right ones? Hold on, where are you going? Run, my dad's in a hurry. Where are you going? Oh, is it, it? turn the corner again? Yeah. Boom, gone like a ninja, gone like a ninja. Did you even see him? Where's he at? Gone, my dad's a little ninja, little fucking a ninja with dementia and shit. But, so my whole point is, is that like I, from an early age, already in fifth grade, my dad was like, what the fuck do you care about what these other people think about you? You come home to me and your mother, they ain't coming home with us and you ain't going home with them. Who cares what these fucking little bullies say and shit? So already like in fifth grade, I was already, and I couldn't sit still. And I was like, why am I gonna pay attention to this shit? If it doesn't entertain me, I don't give a fuck. If it's not entertained, I'm not gonna pay attention. That's it, you need to hold my attention. You need to be interesting. If you're not fucking interesting, Gotta go, bitch. Gotta go. I don't have time. So I've been like that ever since I was a little kid. Yeah, I don't know. The recipe was just right there, dude. I was gonna be a fucking a contrarian, dude. My hey, Larry, Larry, quite contrary. That's me, dude. Why the fuck are you so hairy? <laughs> don't get weird, Larry. You're being inappropriate. Larry King, when Miss California, when Larry King was like, just what was on the tape? What was on the tape? Huh? What was on the tape, Miss California? Eh, eh, what were you doing, slapping your pussy and shit? But, uh, and she was like, you're being inappropriate, Larry. <laughs> and Larry King was like, I've been on this, and there's TV for 30 years, and nobody's ever called me inappropriate. Eh, well, there's a first time for everything. I've been called inappropriate since fucking forever. But, um, so, you're, I'm a contrarian. I'm gonna go, like, if you guys say left, I go right. This is it's not hurting anybody while I'm doing it. All the stupid shit that I did in my life, like, I never, I just did it to myself. I did it to myself. And then even fucking went down, down into, I've done some stupid shit. Ah, don't worry about what I've done. Don't worry about what you've done. As long as, it, as long as I didn't fucking kill nobody, then I'm fine, okay? Fuck. <laughs> the things that you people say out there about other people, you make shit up. You fucking just make shit up, dude. From killing cats to sexual harassment to everything to fucking taking a fucking a poisonous karate to the back of the throat. Like, 
She said, my, uh, I, I choked on his penis and I started crying. No, bitch, you choked on his penis, your eyes started watering, and your mascara was running down your face, and now you fucking want to tell the world that you sucked the Russell Brand dick. You know how many people out there want to suck Russell Brand's dick? You know how many people, you're lucky, bitch, that you sucked Russell Brand's dick, all right? <laughs> on Russell Brand's dick, dude, that's fucking, you should be happy. You've got a story to tell your children, dude. This is not the way, this is not the way. Anyways, you do whatever the fuck you want. But I'm, I support Russell because he's just, this is the way that human nature is. Human nature is there's so many reptilians out there. It's like 50% of the world is a reptile right now. And they get, they feel better about themselves when other people fucking fail. That's it. They want to see, it's like, the, the it's like people there. I know people, I grew up with them. They sit back at the cake party and they just look and they're just watching. So they, they could go, look at this person. Look what they're doing. Oh yeah, look at that. They wait for somebody to fucking throw up and shit. They'd be like, oh my God, they threw up. <laughs> they threw up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody that they threw up and shit. It's like, shut up, man. So, yeah, you gotta, if, if you're gonna be a contrarian, you know you're gonna get fucked with. Everyone's gonna think you're an asshole, number one. And number two, everybody's gonna be saying your name. Everybody's gonna be saying your name. And number three, they're gonna add extra. They're gonna add extra to that shit. So I knew, I knew from the beginning, from the beginning, before I ever posted one video on YouTube, I, and I, I kind of knew that the haters were stalking me online, dude. I want, I want to meet with Google. I want to meet with Google so I could find out before I ever posted a video, who the fuck was clicking on my profile. It's all the people who want to see me dead. Before I ever did anything like this, like control the narrative on their asses and expose them for trying to fuck talk shit about me behind my back, if you motherfuckers would have let me leave from Point Loma, then none of this would have happened, all right? Blame Katrina, one fucking retarded scorned bitch could fuck everything up for everybody. So I'm, I'm, I support Russell Brand. I'd be like, oh, but what if he really did it? Shut the fuck up. We're talking about you bitches waiting 20 years, 20 years, and it, you wait until like he starts. Russell Brand wasn't always on, uh, on online talking crazy shit about, you know, challenging narratives. But why him? Because he's popular, he's super popular, and he's sort of like the pretext, like to see like if you could get, if people could get Russell, like get, if they could get everybody to turn on Russell Brand, and just believe these fucking bitches, then they could do it to the next person, the next person, and the next person. It's gonna be a war, dude. Hey, nobody said fighting fucking reptilians was gonna be easy, dude. These fucking people are lizards. They don't give a fuck. They're reactionary. They cling together. They lie. They cheat. And they steal. And that's it. And so if you wanna fucking be a lizard reptilian, then just believe anything without any evidence. Because I've already proven in my story that they're willing to lie, cheat, and steal. And then on top of that, add extra. Add extra. And it's like, fuck, man. At what point is America going to be like, enough, enough of this bullshit, enough of you fucking liars just be using women and scorning fucking, not just women, but men. The battle of the sexes, that shit is real. Not a helter skelter. It ain't the battle of the races. It's the battle of the sexes. It's dumb little fucking pussy ass men using stupid fucking low IQ bitches who are fucking whores and take dick to the back of their throat. Then 20 years later, all scorned. And when these powerful little pussy ass men want to come together and they're like, hmm, what can we do to destroy someone? Oh, I know. Let's use Mrs. Fucking Runny Mascara. No, bitch, you suck the dick. You choked on it because you don't know how. That's it. I don't fucking feel sorry for these bitches. And anyways, yeah, so now Russell Brand's going to be in court. I hope that fucking everything comes out. Russell, don't be shy. I'm not. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't give a fuck. I'll put... <laughs> I could say so many inappropriate things right now. Why? I've already said enough. I've already said enough. But I'm not going to stop, bitch. I, I think that it's time to do a spiritual... It's like a, a, a spiritual warfare. It's time for us to hunker down and start to be like, okay, you know what? Uh, we need... We need to figure this out in, let's do this, let's do it. You wanna do it through the judicial system? You wanna do it through the political system? You wanna do it through the media? You wanna do it through entertainment? What do you guys wanna do? Let's have this conversation. It's time, it's time to have this conversation. America is in the middle of a fucking crisis. The whole world no longer wants us. We're, we're gonna fucking find ourselves alone with our heads in Canada's lap. The two fucking, 
the, the two fucking roofied bitches in the world just leaning on each other, pointing fingers at everybody else like, why didn't you want us? Because you guys are fucking dumb whores. Like Canada and America are acting like dumb fucking whores. So uh, yeah, it's up to you guys. You guys do whatever the fuck you want. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep fucking asking people to ask questions. This isn't motivational speaking or speeches or anything like that. This is just like critical thinking, okay? It's not that I'm saying we all need to be religious motherfuckers and go to church. Obviously, I grab my karailu and I spit. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying like the books, all of the books, from the ancient books to religious books to science fiction to books. We need to start looking at the books and study the books and make America about education again and not about sex and sexual revolution because look what sexual revolution has gotten everybody. Bunch of fucking scorned bitches talking about everybody's fucking them by because uh, they never wanted it. They're just getting fucked in their ass because uh, they, they they were taken advantage of in their youth and shit. And then you got these fucking men out there that think that they're men by fucking these dumb bitches. Bitches, and then they're and, and just little little men I'm sick and tired of you guys bragging about how much pussy you get you sound like fucking idiots dude I would rather I would rather hang out with orangutans in a zoo then hang out with you fucking little dick motherfuckers acting like you guys are John Holmes with the biggest dicks in the world and you can get any bitch you want. Oh, I've, I've had sex with this woman. and this, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't go around bragging about the fucking people I fuck. And the only time I say a bitch's name is if she said mine first. And the only time I even fucking attack a woman is if she's attacked me first. If these bitches, the ones that I said their names, if they didn't fucking lie on my name and didn't attack me, I wouldn't have said their name. So I don't, you summon me like Beetlejuice. I'm fucking Beetlejuice. How about that? Not Howard Stern's, but the fucking Michael Keaton one. I'm Beetlejuice. You say my name, I'm going to fucking show up. I'm going to show up. And I'm going to say yours. So, yeah. Peace to fucking Russell Brand. It's going to be a rough ride. But, hey, you asked for it, homie. Fucking, I never thought that this... I, I didn't come out fucking swinging thinking that fucking, you know, Lucifer and his kin are going to just sit back and take this shit. No, it ain't it. It's a spiritual warfare. It's starting to manifest in the flesh. Namaste to all the fucking Muslims, the Christians, and the Jews. It's time to hunker down and focus on your families. Focus on your families. Don't fucking focus on what other families are doing. Focus on your own fucking families, because all the families in America are fucked up. And Zizu.